Hey guys, this is a contest entry for Neko Noir 1, Alice in Wonderland Craft Contest. Please like, this is Mason Wesley. Um, I'm going to be doing some categories, and the longer you watch, the better the crafts will get, so stay tuned. This might be kind of long, so um, sorry about that. I made a whole lot of stuff. Let's begin. So first, I'm going to start with drawings I did. We can start with this down the rabbit hole drawing. There's Tangler on the sides, and there's the watch, the white rabbit, the Cheshire cat, and this is the Mad Hatter's hat. Really bright and colorful, as you can see, lots of color. Yeah. So next I have this Cheshire cat drawing. This is from the Tim Burton film, that's why he's not pink and purple. He has a big smile, cute little nose, and big eyes, very fuzzy. You want to go pet him. Um, next I have this Cheshire Cat drawing. He's at the tea party. This is from the Tim Burton film. Again, that's why he's not pink and purple. He has little cupcakes, honey, water, I mean water, and tea. He has a big smile and looks really happy because he's at a party and who doesn't love a party? He's having a great time with his friends. And he just looks like he's having a great time. Next. I have this Dr. Seuss style Alice in Wonderland drawing. I love Dr. Seuss and Alice in Wonderland, so I put them together, and this is what I got. There's the white rabbit in his little waistcoat. Alice decided to climb up these mushrooms to try to reach his key up here. And up here is a keyhole, and I really love how it turned out. It's really bright and colorful, and Dr. Seuss is a totally awesome artist. So next I have this Mad Hatter drawing. I decided to take the Tim Burton film and the Disney classic film and put them together. The red hair and eyebrows are from the Tim Burton film. And this is green and purple, like the original Disney classic film, instead of the black and red and, you know, everything else in the Tim Burton film. I love the both of them, so I put them together. Next, I have this Cheshire Cat sign you could put on your door. It says, we're all mad here, one of my favorite quotes from the movie. Very sparkly. All these swirls and stuff are sparkly. The eyes are sparkly. And just the, all the black is sparkly. I really like how it turned out. And I will definitely be using this on my door. Next, I have this abstract Alice in Wonderland drawing. That's a drink me bottle. I did Tangler here. There's this tag right here. says drink me. There's the watch for the rabbit. The Cheshire Cat eyes. The Queen of Hearts heart. The teacup and teapot are for the Mad Hatter, and um, he loves his tea parties. This stripes right here, those are for the Tweedledee and Tweedledum. This is the shirt. This is the card guards um, that protects the Red Queen. And then this is the checkerboard where the Red Queen and White Queen met to have their battle. Really abstract, and I really love it, and I love how most of it represents something. All right, I have two more drawings, and then we can go on to the next category. I first have this um, Queen of Hearts teenager. I really like how the collar turned out. And, you know, I like the red and black. It looks really good. And this is my Red Queen in an elegant ball gown. I really love how this turned out. There's the fan of cards, the red heart necklace, and the masquerade mask right there. I would love to see the Red Queen like this in the film. Um, I think it would be absolutely stunning. And I love the way it turned out. It's so awesome. So next I have beadwork. I have this cupcake. I did these all by hand, by the way. There's a little candle with fire on top of it. And it's really yummy. There is this card. It's black with pearly white beads. And again, I did these all by hand. They aren't that easy to make. And these are my own designs. I didn't go online and get the patterns off of online to, you know, make them. So I would be cheating and very wrong and not artistic at all. Um, there's the Spent Hatter hat. If you look on the side, it's very sparkly. There's the card here. And, yeah. Next, I have these ice cream cones I did. There's a green watermelon one, pink, 
strawberry one or bubble gum, whichever one you'd like it to be. There's this vanilla cone. It's white. This yellow banana cone. And my absolute favorite is this cotton candy flavored um, ice cream cone with this cute little cherry on the top. It looks really yummy. Definitely would love to eat it if it was real. So next I have this matching tea set for the Mad Hatter. Um, you can pour yourself some tea. The middles match. I love how it's so shiny if you look really closely. And I really love how they turned out. And yeah. On to some of my bigger crafts. <clears throat> this is an Alice in Wonderland theme box. This is a recycled shoe box. There's these cards on the top. Very smooth and nice. I did all these card symbols hand drawn on the side of the lid. And then I did this checker base. And it's really cool looking. I love how it turned out. And I'll definitely be using this in the future to hold my stuff. Very useful. Next, I have this top hat. Um, this is a recycled toilet paper roll. I turned it into a hat. It says Alice in Wonderland. If you come up here, there's the White Rabbit's um, watch, pocket watch. Red Queen's Heart, the This Way sign from the scene from the classic film. I'm a nerd about both. Um, and then there's the Cheshire Cat face. It's pretty tall. I'll put it next to these just to show you. Yeah, it's pretty tall. I really love how it turned out. So next, I have this Alice in Wonderland decorative jar. These make wonderful gifts. This is when Alice was a child and the Red Queen hadn't turned so super evil yet. That's why it's not all dark like in the um, Tim Burton film. Um, this used to be, this is a recycled um, artichoke cart jar. There's a little Cheshire cat. Cheshire, Cheshire, whatever you want me to call it. <laughs> There's the cakes. There's a flower sticking out. These are really, really fun to make, and again, they make wonderful gifts. There is the pocket watch on the top, the Mad Hatter's hat on the top also, and there's the card representing the card guard for the Red Queen in both films. Next, I have this unbirthday party scene miniature. This frame right here is a recycled planter box for the flower. Like you put flowers or whatever you would like to put into it to grow. I popped out the sides and turned it into this. There's cakes, cupcakes. Um, there's this candle holder. And I really love how it turned out. I would absolutely adore to have a party like this. I really love the hedges in the back. The lanterns turned out really cool. I love how they're hanging. And I would love to have a party like this. That would be so epic if a party looked just like this. And it was big. Alright, so next is my big craft, which took me hours and hours and hours. And I am very proud of it. It is my Red Queen's Castle. Um, this, the castle itself, is made out of a recycled printer box styrofoam piece that kept the printer um, safe. My mom got a printer for Christmas and I pulled it out and thought it looked like a castle. So that is what I turned it into. So there's the Red Queen sign right here. Two Red Queen cards. And this side and this side over here are both identical. There's the King card. There's a heart window. Comes down to a checkerboard. Comes up in here. And then I made these guards myself. I really love how they turned out. They're pretty awesome. Let me move this guy real quick. So back in here, I made a drawbridge you probably can't see, but it goes red, black, red, black. And these are recycled toothpicks. I colored red and black. See the pokey. It's for the gate. And it has lots of dimensions, if you notice. It's not just flat. Good deed done in there. Put this dude back. So next, we can go to the top. There's this heart sign, very big. 
Um, there's all these miniature flags, and again, those are made out of recycled toothpicks. <clears throat> so if you come up here, there's these stripes I did up here. And there's this first balcony, the big balcony where you'd have a party or something. There's these three pedestals. Those are recycled tea light candles that you would put in a candle holder. There's three balconies. There's one, two, and three. These are for like bedrooms or whatever you'd like them to be for. There is the top that has diamonds. And everything's hand drawn, by the way. Um, it took me absolutely forever by drawing it by hand, but I believe it looked better that way. And up here, and it's the same diamond. On the sides of these is these cards. And I really think this turned out pretty good. Um, thank you, Neko Nor One. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right for having this contest. Oh, and congratulations on all your subscribers. I'm actually really happy for you. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so please like this video. This is Mason Wesley. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video again. Um, thank you so much for having this contest. I'm very pleased to enter. This is my first contest ever, so I'm pretty excited and very nervous about this. Um, thank you so much, Neko Nor one for having this. Congratulations to your subscribers. Everyone have a wonderful week, and thank you. Bye.